So let's play a little game here. First, let's take a look at my watch collection. And you might notice one or two things missing here if you've seen my last watch collection video, but that's not what this video is about. Now, what if I was going to get rid of everything? No Seiko 5, no Swatch, Speedmaster, gone, Blue Dreamer, gone, and then goodbye to the Datejust, the Tank American, the Reverso, the Vacheron Constantin Traditionnel, and the Heavy, the Longa Datagraph. Now, if I got rid of all of those watches and could only have one watch in my collection, what would it be? Well, you'll find out right after this. Now, before I reveal what my choice would be for the ultimate one watch collection, I wanna thank one of our great partners, Chrono24, for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel, which helps me bring you guys more of the content that you love. So I'm sure that if you're into watches, you probably already know about Chrono24. It's the place that I spend a lot of time scrolling through and daydreaming about all the watches that I would love to have one day. The site itself has 9 million monthly visitors and around half a million watches listed by both trusted dealers and private sellers from all over the world, which makes it pretty much the marketplace throughout the entire world exclusively for luxury watches. If you've never bought a watch online or through an app, it's understandable that you might be a little bit hesitant, but Chrono24 offers a free buyer protection service, which one, ensures that you get what you see online, two, that you can return the watch to a dealer within 14 days, and three, all of your transactions are fully protected. It's simply the most secure way to shop new pre-owned and vintage watches from tons of brands, including Omega, Rolex, Tudor, and many, many more. And right now, actually, Chrono24 is running a huge giveaway on their YouTube channel where you can enter to win a $10,000 voucher. Yes, you heard it right, $10,000 that you can use towards finally purchasing your dream watch. That is an absolutely incredible offer right there. So. I wouldn't blame you if you actually pause this video right now and go over to their YouTube channel to enter. I certainly would if I were you. Links to the Chrono24 YouTube channel and more are down below in the description. So a one watch collection. It's kind of a fun exercise to go through, you know, whether you have a larger collection or if you don't actually own any watches and are just looking to have one that you would have for the rest of your life. There's so much that goes into the thought process when it comes to this topic. And I think it's really interesting because the watch you choose as your one watch really reveals something about each of us, what we like, what we value, and what our design preferences are. I'm gonna walk you through two of the things that I was looking for most as I made my choice but what I wanna encourage you to do is to leave your ultimate one watch collection down below in the comments. But don't just give me the watch. I wanna know exactly why you chose it and what specific things you were looking for. So for me, obviously, if you've been a fan of the channel for some time now, you kind of have a pretty good idea of my personal style and preferences when it comes to things. So probably won't shock you at all to know that the two biggest things that I was looking for was a watch that was timeless and a watch that was versatile. I'd want something timeless because if I'm only going to have one watch in my collection for the rest of my life, I want it to be something transcendent, you know, a watch with a design and pedigree that kind of always looks good and never goes out of style. And I'd want something versatile because, you know, again, uh, if I'm only gonna have that one watch, it better have me covered in pretty much any situation I find myself in, anything from day-to-day -day casual to more dressed up. Surprisingly, unlike when I bought my first luxury watch, my Rolex Datejust, which took me about nine months to figure out and agonize over, this choice for the one watch collection was pretty much instant. Yeah, I, I've got several years of watch knowledge and experience under my belt at this point, so, I've got a pretty good idea of the landscape, and this wasn't the first time actually that I kind of thought about what this watch would be for me. And I know you're probably thinking right now, well, just stop talking, tell me what this one watch is for crying out loud. So the watch that I would choose, that I would consider the ultimate one watch collection for me is this watch right here, 
the Rolex Explorer reference 114270. The Rolex Oyster Perpetual Explorer is an all-time classic. It's a watch that was designed and developed with adventure in mind, having been inspired by Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay being the first to summit Mount Everest in 1953. A common misconception was that Hillary wore an Explorer when he summited Everest, but the watch he actually wore was a Rolex Oyster Perpetual, not an Oyster Perpetual Explorer. Let's dive into some of the specs of this watch though. Both the case and the Oyster bracelet are stainless steel. It's got a smooth bezel, a scratch resistant sapphire crystal, and then inside it is powered by a high beat caliber 3130 movement. This is a 36 millimeter case size, which is another reason why I absolutely love it. It's great for a smaller wrist like mine, as you can see, and a 36 millimeter size is great for that more timeless look as well. Moving on to the dial now, which is really remarkable for its balanced simplicity. The dial is black and has luminous hands and hour markers. We have a running seconds hand and then the non-luminous Arabic numerals at three, six, and nine. From a design and style perspective, this watch is just so simple, super stylish, and incredibly versatile. This is easily a watch that no matter who you are, what your job is, and no matter where your style falls on the casual to dressy spectrum, it's a watch that would just fit seamlessly onto anyone's wrist. And the simplicity is another reason why I really love this watch. I like things that are understated and don't necessarily call attention to themselves. And this watch is kind of the epitome of that. It's just so satisfying to look at and wear. Now, some of you may be asking, why did I choose a six digit Explorer for a one watch collection as opposed to something like the 1016, which is highly coveted among collectors and is generally held up as the Rolex Explorer that you'd wanna have. So there are actually a couple reasons why I chose the six digit 114270 over the more famous and we would say desirable 1016 model. First is the price. The 114270 is in the seven to $8,000 range. Not a drop in the bucket by any means, but if you consider the fact that 1016s are trading around $20,000 and much, much higher than that, seven to $8,000 is a price tag that is somewhat easier to stomach. The second reason I chose the six digit Explorer over the 1016 is that personally, I'm not a huge vintage watch guy. I like them and I can appreciate them for sure, but having owned a vintage GMT Master previously, I mean, I like the watch a lot, but there's just something about the vintage thing that didn't really get me as excited as I thought it would. It doesn't mean I wouldn't consider a cool vintage watch in the future, but just kind of knowing that about myself now, I definitely would think twice about going that route personally again. So that is the watch, the Rolex Explorer reference 114270 that I would choose as my ultimate one watch collection. Definitely interested in hearing your picks and the reasons behind them, so please leave those down in the comments. And be sure to check out the links in the description below to check out Rolex Explorers, as well as many more watches on Chrono24. And if you decide to buy with Chrono24, don't forget to do the checkout with their free escrow service so you are protecting your purchase.